Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about spark plugs. So for most of us, spark plugs are a maintenance item that we sometimes forget about. But if you want your engine to perform well, if you have a high performance engine and you want to maximize its horsepower, or if you want to maximize your car's fuel efficiency, you need to have the right spark plugs for your car. And by right spark plugs, I don't just mean the brand, they, have, they also have to be gapped properly. Uh, so what is a spark plug gap? The spark plug gap is the distance between the center electrode and the ground electrode. The center electrode is this one at the center and the ground electrode is the one at the top. The spark plug gap is the distance between them. Now you measure the spark plug gap using one of these. This is called a feeler gauge. You can buy one of these at your local auto parts store. Uh, so, as you can see, you have a number of fins here. It's a bit rusty. Uh, you have a couple of blades here with numbers on them. So the idea is you you try to um, put these blades in between the two electrodes. Uh, you have to have the right distance, uh, the right number. Uh, for example, mine has to be gapped at 0 0.028, so I choose the 0 0.028 blade and then I pass the blade in between the two electrodes, like so. If your gap is too high, you press down on this. You can buy a tool for, you can, you can buy a tool for um, adjusting your spark plug gap. If you don't have one of those tools, you can just press on this. Do not touch the center electrode because that can be easily damaged. I used to have a problem at higher RPMs on this car. Whenever it reached 3000 RPM or higher, it would sputter a little bit. Uh, at, first, at, fir at first I thought it was a fuel filter issue. It sounded like the fuel was cutting off, but it was actually misfiring at higher RPMs because it was missing spark at higher RPMs. Okay, this video was taken before I had the spark plugs replaced. Not sure if you can tell, but at higher RPMs, it sounds like it's sputtering. Okay, the next video was taken after I had the spark plugs changed. You can hear that the sound that it sounds a lot smoother. You can hear a continuous whistle coming from the turbo. And it's also a lot, lot faster. I wouldn't be surprised if I gained 20 horsepower because it felt so much faster. Here's the science behind it. Wider spark plugs produce a stronger spark. So on lower compression engines, they actually burn fuel better because they produce a stronger spark. But on higher compression engines or on engines with turbochargers or superchargers, the spark doesn't travel as well between the two electrodes on a higher compression engine or on an engine with forced induction. That means an engine with either a turbocharger or a supercharger. For higher compression engines or for engines with forced induction, you have to have a smaller gap. On this engine, for example, my recommended gap is 0 0.028. Yeah, so that's the science behind it. Uh, if you have a stock car, uh, you can go with the manufacturer's recommended gap. But if you plan to modify your car, then you would have to experiment. The more boost you have, the narrower your gap should be. Anyway, let me show you my engine. Okay, this is a 4G63T engine. It's a 2 liter turbocharged engine. It should produce around 210 horsepower. It is mostly stock. I do have a ready blow off valve over there. But other than that, it also has a, an aftermarket exhaust muffler. But other than that, it's stock. <coughs> and here's my car. Her name is Valerie. I have a video of her. 
Uh, you can, if you want to watch the video, click on the link above. I reached 10,000 subscribers a month ago and that was a milestone for me when I started this channel it was supposed to be just it was just a hobby I never expected to get this many subscribers and I never expected to make usable money out of it I monetized this back in 2014 and back then I was making around I don't know five dollars a month I did not expect this channel to go this big okay last month I got 570,000 views and I gained about more than 1,500 subscribers and my revenue is also a lot higher now okay, I'll probably make a separate video about YouTube revenue anyway that's it if you have a turbocharged engine make sure that your spark plugs are properly gapped I'll upload a another car review after this, I just need something to upload while I'm busy doing other stuff. Okay, that's it.